All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to keep score or to to change a score because that's going to come in handy in your in your quiz app. So I want you to create a new app. Don't use your ugly app. I want you to create a brand new one. This one's going to start from scratch. So I'm going to create this new one. I'm going to call it my quiz app. And then create. I'm only going to put a couple things on here. I'm not going to actually create a quiz. That's going to be up to you. But I am going to show you how to keep score. So first things first, I'm going to change the name of my screen. I'd like to call this my home screen. You can call it whatever you want, but home seems to fit. Okay, I'm going to throw a label on here. I'm going to have two labels, actually, and I want to put them side by side because I want it to say score and then whatever the score currently is. So what I need in my layout is a row. Um, I need a row, so I'm going to throw a row in here. And what that's going to allow me to do is have two things side by side. I want to put two labels side by side. Okay, so I'm going to throw one label and then I'm going to throw a second label in. Now they're side by side like I want them to be. My first label, it doesn't matter which one's which, but I'm going to just take my first label. It looks like that's the one on the left, so I'll use this one instead. And I'm just going to call this one my S label. I don't want to say score because you'll understand why in just a second. That's my S label, and it's going to say score. And I'm going to put a little, you know, so that my score can be side by side. All right, so that's my score label. I'm going to change the font size. I want it to be a little bit larger. That's not bad. Um, I want the color. I kind of like it black, but I want the background to be, sure, that sounds great. Okay, now this other label, I want this one to actually keep track of the score. So I'm going to call this one my score label. And my score to begin is going to be zero to start. So there's some things I don't like about that. I don't like how close it is. There's no space between, so I'm going to add a little bit of padding. Um, let's add a little bit of padding on the left side of this. Let's put like 20 pixels. Um, that's pretty good if you've got a large score, but maybe 15 pixels. That's not bad. I also want to add a little padding on the right because it's too close. So I'll add like 10 pixels there. That kind of looks pretty good. I don't feel like I'm going to need to put any color behind that. I think that'll speak for itself. Okay, so I've got two labels side by side. Now I need to add a button. Yours will be different, but I'm just going to add a button, and when you click the button, it'll add on to the score. So I'm going to put a button, and I want to put it down below my row. I'm going to try that again. I'm going to put a button down in below the row. There it goes. And I'm going to label this the, the add button. And I'm going to say, click to add. All right, that's good enough for now. We've got a score label. We've got the click to add button. Now what we need to do is make this work. So when we click the button, I want to add one to the score. All right, the blocks are going to, I'm going to go slower here because I really need you to understand this because you're going to use variables like this a lot. So I'm going to create a variable. The variable is a storage place. It's going to store the value of your score. So I need to create a new variable that's initializing. It's called an app variable because this score can be used anywhere in the app. So I'm going to drag this out here. And I don't want to give it a name called name. I want to give it a name that's going to make sense. This is our score variable. So this is the variable that's going to keep track of how many points we have right now. And when we begin this whole thing, um, we begin with zero points. So I'm going to make the score be zero to begin. 
That way, anytime this app loads up, the score is going to equal zero every single time. Okay, now we need to look at how to add on to that and put it in the label. So when the button's clicked, so I'm going to click find my add button. And when it's clicked, I need to add one to the score. And then I want to store it back into this score again. Because what happens is we're saying that we want the score to be zero to start. When they click the button, now it's going to change the value of this variable to be one. When we click the button again, it's going to change the value of this variable to be two. And when we click it again, it'll be three and four and so on. All right, so what we want to do is go into the variables and we want to say when they click the button, we want to set the score to be something different. Don't look at that change app score by one because that's not very, it's not usable all the time. So I want to change the app score. I want to change this variable score and I want to add one to it. So I need some math. I'm going to grab this plus sign because we're going to do some addition. We're going to say, take whatever values in the score. So we go to variables and we say, take whatever this score is and add one to it. That's all this does. So we're saying it starts out as zero. When they click the button, we're going to say, take this score of zero, which is this one right there, add one to it and store it back in. So after they click once, this value now becomes one. All right, then it say, take that new value, which is one, add one to it, and make this now two. Next time through, this is two plus one, make it three. Three plus one, make it four. That way it's keeping track over time. All right, the last thing we need to do then is put this score into the label. So here's our score label. We're going to change the text to be whatever the score is at that time. So if we go into this, we're going to say, make the text be whatever the score is currently after we've added one. So we come in here, we add one to it, we store it into that, and then we change the text to be equal to that. All right, let's give this a try. If I preview, wait for it. My computer is freaking out right now. There it goes. Right now the score is zero. If I click the button, adds one to the score. And now two, and three, and so on. Okay, that's it.